of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of the us, the apostles, or the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, and there shall come in the last days scoffers, mockers, yeah. people that don't like this message or feel like I need to be quiet, walking after their own lust. lust. This is why I don't get shaken. Because if they didn't like Jesus, they're not going to like me. If they didn't like the apostles, they're not going to like you. That's true. If they didn't like the children of God and they persecuted them, then they're going to persecute you. And so verse 3 says, knowing this, first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Yeah. Walking after their own lusts their own desires, what they think, what they want, and say, where is the promise of his coming? Y'all been talking Jesus is coming, where he at? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things, this is what they say, since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. They're basically saying, ain't nothing changed. Right. Bell Glade is just always Bell Glade. Ain't nothing changing. This Jesus that y'all talking about, that baptism that y'all talking about, that Holy Ghost that y'all talking about, that holiness that y'all talking about, that church ain't talking about nothing. Everything is going on as it usually well, I want to talk to you from this subject tonight. It is a statement to you. Hear what I just said. It is a statement to you and to those that are watching live. Things will not continue as they were. All right, sir. The statement or the message or the topic tonight is things will not continue as they were. If I had a subtitle, I would say it just like this. Simple. Jesus is still coming. Jesus is still coming. So let us pray and let us ask God to help us with this message tonight. Father, we love you. We thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace and loving kindness. We ask that you would open up our ears to hear. Touch the saints of God and those that are here for the first time, second time, third time. But God, you're not no respecter of a person. It is your will for man to repent and come to the knowledge of truth. Father, if they would only yield and surrender. Father, we think that we know everything as human creation. But God, unless we listen to the word of God and take heed. Father, we understand that many try to come and preach and many try to say the name of Jesus. But they're not preaching, oh Lord God, not speaking or teaching for what's in the scripture. But God, you raised up this church for a reason, as you told Esther, for such a time as this. And right now I pray, everybody that's listening and everybody that's watching, and everybody that will get a hold of this message, that they will come to understand that God, things will not go back to normal. I know we're looking for normalcy, but things will not go back as way that they were, especially for the church of the living God. For the church of the living God, don't get complacent. For the church of the living God, don't try to go back to normalcy. For God is getting us to where he wants us to be because yeah. he's soon to come. And God is trying to set a fire in us that we will go forth and do what he's called us to do. So in the name of Jesus, we love you, Lord. Help me to preach thy word, O oh God, that the soul of man will be saved. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, let us all say amen, amen.
for the soul that was filled with the Holy Ghost this morning. Some of you on the pool on the left, but she was filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave her the utterance. That means I didn't teach her how to teach and speak in tongues. I was not telling her what to say, but right. God gave her the Holy Ghost. Right. And just like on the day of Pentecost, God began to give her and she began to speak in another language. And she knew that she had the Holy Ghost. But she's experiencing what the Bible said will happen when you receive the So many people think that speaking in tongues is not for everybody. Speaking from 1 Corinthians chapter 12 saying everybody is not going to speak in tongues uh -huh. in the beginning. Yeah. That scripture is talking about diverse or different kinds of tongues. Talk to us, but the gift of the Holy Ghost like they got it on the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. you will speak in another or a heavenly language. That is the sign that God gave. Yeah. You might say, why did he give that? I don't know. But understand, if he gave it, you need it. Understand it, if he gave it, you need it. So don't sell yourself short talking about, I don't need it. If they got it, you better believe you need it. So how many are grateful that you got the Holy Ghost? So this message, things will not continue as they were. It is said scientifically that human species forgets many or forget many things over a period of time. The question is why? We look, if you go and look or do any research, I love researching. I love researching in the scripture. I love doing a lot of reading. But if you actually go and study and see, and if you look, these are some of the reasons why we forget. I'm talking about the human species. Number one reason is a trivial failure. We trivial failure. Which means, you say, what does that mean? Which means we forget things that are not rehearsed over and over again. That if you don't get it and you don't rehearse it over and over again, you will have memory failure of that. This is why in the word of God, Moses introduced the laws. But in the book of Deuteronomy, which is a repetition of the laws, Moses, before they went over to the promised land, he had to go back over the laws yeah. again and again. Yeah. The reason for that is so that you don't forget. The reason is for you don't say, oh, I forgot about that. Because God don't want you to be lost. So he knows about the human species that over a period of time, we tend to forget what he told us. Just like you do. How many can testify? I forgot God said that. This is why sometimes we come up short because we forget what God said. That's true. God tells you, don't do this. That's and you go over there and do it. God tells you, I don't want you to do this. But you say, oh, I didn't know that. This is why it's important for the child of God to come to the house of God to hear the word of God. This is so that you can stay in the will of God. So I never get tired of hearing the word of God over and over again. This is why when a preacher is preaching, I don't care how many times he says it. When he say repent, I say thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. When he say be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I say amen. When he say you got to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, I say yes, Lord. And when he say you got to walk up I say glory be to God. Yes, sir. I never get tired of the word of God. So you need to start opening up your mouth and say, preach, preacher. Preach, preacher.
second thing is we forget because of interference failure. We forget because interference failure. You say what you're talking about. Which means we forget cause we have so many different interferences in our lives. This is true. People forget because you got a whole bunch of junk happening in your life. All of this thing is coming in and out. How can you remember anything when every day is something new? This is why these electronic devices, as soon as you get the latest model, you got to learn a whole new one because a new one is yes, out. But I come to tell you the Bible, it is the same yesterday and today. Church. 
So we got to remember what the prophets prophesied. We got to remember what the apostles commanded. We got to remember who God put in place. And so look at the scripture text again. Read it real loud so that they can hear it. So they will know where I'm coming from. We got to remember what the prophets and what the apostles commanded. Read it what it says, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to 2, sir. The second epistle, yes, sir. Beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the Holy Prophet. By who, sir? By the Holy Prophet. And what else, sir? And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. We got to remember what they spoke. Yes, sir. And what were the prophets and apostles preaching? What were they saying? What were they doing? They were warning the people to turn from their sins and turn back. Yeah. This is what the preacher or the messenger should be doing. The preacher should not be robbing the people with their money. The preacher should not be sleeping with people in the church and having babies. The preacher should not be looking like the world. The preacher is not on Facebook trying to pose his new outfit. I don't care about what you look like. Let's go. If you really want to be saved, if you really 
and those that want to mock truth. Look at our scripture text again to get clarity on this. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Read it loud, sir. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days over, uh, walking after their own lust. So they're going to mock you because why? They think what you're doing in Christ is silly. But what they're doing with their desires, their sinful perversion, right. their lack of concern, right. their evil ways and their evil thoughts, they will begin to mock you because you want to look holy. Because you don't want to look like the world. And because you don't want to show what mama gave you. God is going to say something about you. Because you don't want to get in a twinkle with them. When this whole epidemic is over, you need to tell them, now I ain't going to the club. And now I ain't going to do that. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
They gotta reprobate my They gotta correct my Because I'm letting people know What the devil's been doing He's been putting the wool over your eyes You think you're talking to a man of God Ladies, you think you're talking to a man of God He wants to get up under your skirts You think you're talking to somebody that loves you He's trying to rob you right now You think that what I'm talking about is not true It's coming from the scriptures It's coming from the word of God I want you to read it in the NLT, in the New Living, not the New World Translation, because that's the devil, that's a lie, that's that Jehovah Witness crap, that's that mess, but I'm trying to talk to you about another version called the NLT, New Living Translation, the New Living Translation, I just want to make it simple to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and read it, sir, what's going to happen to these people, well, they've got reprobate minds, they've got Read it, sir. But they won't get away with this alone. They won't, sir. Someday everyone will recognize what fools they are. Yes, yes sir. As the Janus and Jambres. So somebody said one day they're going to find out. But today I'm preaching they're going to find out. They're going to find out that these yes, preachers are false. They're going to find out that they are fake. They're going to find out that they ain't preaching truth. They're going to find out that church they've been going to ain't right. But we're going to tell them the truth. Every time something happens, you got to look to Jesus. You got 
telling you, save yourself from this untoward generation. Because Jesus is still coming. Mother, I tell you, please get it right. Because Jesus is coming. Brother, get it right. Because Jesus is coming. Sister, you've been saying that you're going to let it go. I say to you, let it go and get it right. Don't think that everything is going to remain the same. That's how the world thinks. But if you understand that Jesus is coming back, you'll make your calling and your election sure. Come on. If you need to be baptized, get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Repenting of your sins and be received and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you. And to many that are far off as many as the Lord our God shall call. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. But I know that God loves you more.